The History of Essential Oils In modern times, essential oils are used in aromatherapy to aid people with their physical and emotional health. In the past, they have been used by many people all over the world and in different cultures to do just that. The history of essential oils is a long one. Thousands of years ago, the Chinese were using plants with aromatic qualities for healing. Although these plant substances were being used in the medical practices of the day, they had not yet been distilled into essential oils. The Egyptians, and perhaps also the Persians, and the people of India were the first to make distillation machines. Oil of cedarwood distilled with such machines was used along with myrrh, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg oils to embalm the dead. The Egyptians were concerned more with the sense of smell than with any of the other senses. They believed that it was the most important and dominant sense. They adopted the essential oils they made to their medicine, cosmetics, and fragrances. The use of essential oils was taken up by the Greeks next. Hippocrates did an ancient form of aromatherapy. A Greek named Megalion invented a perfume called Megalion. This substance was used in aromatherapy and as an essential oil as an anti-inflammatory and to heal wounds. A Roman, Discordes, wrote on the uses of 500 different plant substances. Distillations were also made of such substances. However, these distillations didn't produce essential oils. Instead, they made floral smelling waters. Aventia was a Persian man who refined the process by inventing a distillation machine with a coiled cooling pipe. This allowed for more effective cooling. Well. You get what I mean. Eventually, the focus shifted towards a more emphasis on true essential oils and their uses. Paracelicus was a doctor of the 15th century who began using the term essence. His emphasis was using essential oils for medicine. During this time, many new essential oils were being produced. Among them were juniper, rosemary, rose, and sage. During the 16th century, people would go to their apothecary to get essential oils for many different uses. Around this time, the advent of new essential oils flourished. In the next few centuries, essential oils changed very little except in their use in perfumes. The major chemical ingredients of essential oils were identified, and scientists became more interested in the subject of essential oils. In the 20th century, this became a problem for those interested in the use of true essential oils. Much of 20th century science has been consumed with creating synthetic versions of essential oils. However, an early 20th century Frenchman named Gattafossi became interestingly involved with the study of essential oils and their medicinal values. He was the first to use the term aromatherapy. Aromatherapy and the use of essential oils were not well known in English-speaking countries. Robert B. Tisserand changed all that. He wrote the first English book on the subject and many other books and articles. As the years go by, people are becoming more and more interested in natural ways of doing things. They want to find ways to soothe their minds and comfort their bodies without synthetic drugs. And essential oils give them a way to do that. Being a devout believer in the benefits of essential oils, I use them in many ways every single day. Check out the link below for more information on how essential oils can help you. For more tips on how to live an optimal life, check out our website, theprime.life today. And don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. See you next time.